All right, Doug with the Scala here, and I stopped off at Gravotech um, booth because what I really like about this booth is they've got three types of marking technology here. So, uh, so we've got, as you can see up on the wall there, we've got the laser, the dot beam, and the scribing. Um, so a lot of customers out there, when they're talking to us about marking, then, you know, sometimes they're unsure, where do I start? You know, why would I use laser over dot beam or over scribing? And so that's why I've come to talk to Evan. Evan just went through this, uh, the explanation, so he's going to do it again. He agreed to do it on camera for us. So, so Evan, with that, thank you for thank you for doing this. And um, why don't we get started in, in laser? What you got shown over Absolutely. here? Absolutely, thank you. So this is our uh, this is our laser. It's, it's the LW two enclosure. So it's a standard enclosure that fits most parts, about twelve by twelve inch parts. We have a LW three that is the larger version, goes up to thirty by thirty. This can handle a fiber laser and uh, also a green and a hybrid. Um, so there's all kinds of different technologies that you would use different lasers for to mark on different types of material. So plastic, metal, everything like that. This is the fiber laser, it's the most popular. It's the fastest to mark on multiple materials. Um, it's gonna be the quickest mark on mainly steel. Um, and then uh, next, this can be used in the enclosure on a bench top, or it can be integrated into a work cell, weld cell on a robot arm, anything like that. Uh, and then going on to the mechanical side of it, this is our dot peen, it's the XF510 series. So this comes in three sizes and it is the fastest on the market. Uh, it can go up to 10 characters per second. And uh, these go integrated into carriages, into weld cells, uh, different applications like that. Um, and then there's another version of this that's a scriber. So this is dot beans, individual marks, mainly used for 2D codes um, for traceability purposes. Even this there, they showed me, it was yep. shocking that that's dot pin. It's hard to tell, but. So then there's a scriber that uh, drags through the tra drags the tip through the material instead of uh, individual dots. Uh, it's smoother, cleaner mark, and it's quieter. Um, and better on thinner materials. Okay. And then this is just a bench top version of the same thing. So this is mainly used for tags or various different types of parts. Uh, instead of being integrated, this can be put in a tool crib or next to a CNC machine. Um, and that, uh, that goes up to a 12 inch part as well. Okay. So we, we were talking earlier about kind of like, I was asking about speed of things and yep. you had mentioned this. So it's kind of like quick off, same application, not as much depth. It's laser, dopping, scribing, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So a surface mark, just uh, human readable or a 2D code, fastest technology is going to be laser, then going down to dopping, and then a scriber is close to dopping, but it's a little slower. Mm -hmm. And then uh, generally, I, I had brought up the um, uh, powder coating. Yes. And so that's yes. one where where a lot of times the dot pin is. Where the mechanical staying staying here. It's, it's always going to have its applications for depth and speed. And then... Um, you know, where the laser can do the mark, it's just gonna be either very expensive or take a longer cycle time. So yeah, for uh, powder coating, e-coating, things of uh, that nature that the mark is getting covered up, um, you know, for the value, it's probably gonna be uh, the, uh, the mechanical side of things. Okay. Um, but the laser absolutely can do it. Great, yep. well, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. the rundown, Evan. Appreciate it.